much garbage do we make? Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. It is a little bit after five o'clock and I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, I have a new guy that's supposed to be starting today. We will see if he shows up. Um, everybody should show up today. We'll see what happens. You just never know. And you never know, especially on Mondays. <laughs> but we're starting a new project today that includes a garage floor removal replacement, uh, partial driveway removal replacement, front sidewalk, and then a patio with a colored and stamped stoop and a colored and stamped border. So come along. We'll see how our day goes. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Well, I finally had a chance on Saturday to go buy some new work boots. I didn't just buy one pair of work boots. I bought three pairs of work boots. All right. Now we're talking. Yes. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi, Mom. I have got to find Scott. Man, I don't see Scott today. Scott's not here. Autumn's not with me. Mm. I didn't see Scott this morning, so I already know how my day's gonna go. He's hiding from me, I know he is. I just about walked out the door without seeing you. I'm always here, you know that. I know, Somewhere but along I don't want to ask where Scott and bother you. You don't, but, you don't bother me. But now I got to see you, so my day's better. <laughs> my daughter's not with me anymore though. She had to go back to school, so uh -oh. it's kind of sad to be honest. Yeah, your boss can't keep you alive. I know. Well, have a good day. Yeah, All right, it is 12 after 6. I am pulling into the yard. <clears throat> this is the owner of the property here, the diesel mechanic. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Good. Am I on camera? Yes. <laughs> You're gonna doing? be famous. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You busy? I am. Yeah, I'm busy too. Good. Well, everybody's here but Daryl. Actually, I think I just saw Daryl pull in. All right, I think everybody's here. We're gonna get to work. I don't see the new guy. Actually, there's somebody sitting out on the street right now, which is probably him. So. Yep, that's him, he's calling me. Everybody's here on a Monday, yeah! Morning, Bugs. Did you get a haircut? Yes, sir. You look fresh. Thank you, I am fresh. Yeah. Were you driving truck all last night? Tell me the truth. Of course not. I slept all day yesterday. Uh oh. And then we went to the lake last night. You told me on the phone you were a big guy. <laughs> you ain't big, dude. What's going on, man? I thought you were going to be like 350. I was uh, like, man, I hope this guy can move. <laughs> 350, come on. That's what I was worried about. This Eric. This is Francisco. That's Bobby. How's your breathing? Too many vehicles in here, that's why. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, ooh. Any extra parts for them? <laughs> yeah. Nails, screws. <laughs> Who cares? How do we go from me and you to having too many guys? I know, man. You guys are all fire. Me and Bugs did it on our own anyway. I know, they've been doing it. All right, my little girl, my little daughter, Joanna, cleaned out my truck on Saturday. And I wanted to give her a big shout out and say, thank you, Joanna. And she cleaned my desk for me. Awesome little girl. Fill it up all the way, get the receipt, put the receipt in the center console. And then uh, you can come to the back where Daryl is. Yeah, I know, Daryl. I, I can only do one thing at a time. I'll be there. Hey, how do I get diesel on 17? Because you can't even use a credit card back there, huh? So, All right, we were back there for like a good 10 minutes. Is Eric still inside going to the bathroom? Oh, come on. <sighs> come on, Eric. How long does it take you to poop? 
I was about to come in and kick the door in. <laughs> I was, and get it all on camera. Oh, no. oh man. Now I gotta listen to you guys talk Spanish all the time. <laughs> oh man. I know. Hey. Morning. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. How was yours? Good. So you want to add a oh, here, here yeah. basically? Yeah. The thought was is it might be place we can, <coughs> we can slide the grill. Okay. We're doing those two squares at the front, which is the front sidewalk. All the way to, gotcha. And then we're doing this driveway up to this joint here. From here forward? Yeah, all this. None of this. Just from this joint. And then the two squares up there. Yep, and the garage door, and then the patio. All right. Patio is pretty much the same. Right. It's really in good shape, but they butched it. See, see in front of that stoop where it's all black? That's it's all a pond. All, all right, this makes me nervous. He was sleeping in a truck right now. I know. He yeah. always falls right asleep. Feeling okay, Bobby? You're gonna make it? Watch out, you're gonna get run over. I get up this way every morning when it's foggy and everything else. Oh! That's got an electrical box. I ain't gonna let you tear that off. Oh, come on. All right, garage floor came out pretty clean. Uh, it's nine o'clock. Uh, we got the front sidewalk set up, garage floor is out. We're just gonna go ahead and grade the garage floor. And then, uh, then I'm gonna start taking this patio out. This is gonna take some time because I'm quite sure that these guys probably rebarred this up pretty good uh, with this new colored concrete. So this will probably take some time to get out. Have to be real careful around the siding. Uh, we removed the siding here because the patio, we're going to raise it up a little bit to get this water that's been ponding in this corner out. We're going to get this patio to flow and we're going to get it nice and flat. Get this water to flow off real nice into the yard the way that it should have been the first time. <laughs> you guys ready? He said you don't like these. ready. Oh, Daryl doesn't like any tools. I don't like them either. <laughs> <laughs> Go a little faster, please. I think Francisco's better than you. What do you think? You're fire. 
Sorry, Eric. <laughs> I think he knows what he's doing, though. All right, I'm going to start taking this patio out. I'm just going to take it easy and go slow because I know it's going to have reinforcement. I know it's got a conduit uh, going to that electrical box from somewhere. I think it goes this way, but I'm not even sure about that. And uh, we got the siding there, and uh, I think this is going to be a little difficult to take out, but we'll knock it out. Well, they poured the stoop a foot thick. Really not a good idea. I could tell it was thick as soon as I heard that hammer hit it. Just sat there. Yeah. This concrete's thick over here, man. It's yeah. like seven inches thick over here. Why would you pour colored concrete six or seven inches thick? Have you seen that? I don't know why you would pour concrete this thick in the patio. Dude, it's seven and three quarter. Look at that. Oh, come on. It's eight inches thick. All right, we're gonna have some lunch. It's only 11.15 or so. But uh, patio's coming out a little slow. It's really, really thick. We were measuring about eight inches here. The stoop was 12 to 14 inches of solid concrete. Uh, we cut a Romex there. It went from this electrical box, and then there's one around the corner you can't see. So we'll have to splice that back together. But other than that, everything's going good. Garage floor is set up, ready to pour. Front sidewalk set up, ready to pour. And then part of this driveway is coming out here. This will go fast and easy. It's just the patio, uh, it's a little rough, but we'll get it. We always do 16 inches. Yeah, we got to set this all the way around and then uh, grade it, compact it, and then set the border in. These heights, this board should have about an eighth of bubble pitch going this way. It shouldn't be level with that because the pitch continues down. Right here, obviously, it'll be level because it's at the line, but it should have a, it should have pitch going that way. All right, uh, everything's going pretty good today. There was uh, definitely some potential for damage to the house and the garage. Uh, just with the nature of what we we're doing, how thick that concrete was, the stoop was. Bug said he measured that 15 inches thick. Uh, but everything came out good. Nothing got damaged. Uh, it's gorgeous out today, unlike last week. It's like low 80s, but the humidity has really settled down. It feels way better than it did last week. So uh, we're going to keep going and see what we can get done. This is all stamped, and the border and that sidewalk is all stamped. So when you set the 16 inch, it comes around and goes right up to the house. Just like that. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. That's two yes. We'll see if you do it right. <laughs> so how do you like it here so far? It's good, good so far, man. As you can tell, I'm getting ready to grade. These guys are hanging out for shade here. And there's Grandpa Bug. Don't touch his wagger, because he'll get mad at you. Brother, that's my wagger. Have it.
You gotta kick that out a little bit. It looks terrible. It's gotta be a nice flow. Kick that out. All right, it's about quarter after one and patio's out and set, the stoop is set. I don't know if you wanna call it a step or a stoop. I'm gonna call it a stoop. And we put a little radius corner on there because that's what they had before. So this stoop is actually gonna be stamped. So we're gonna pour it separately because the center of the patio here is standard concrete. And uh, there's a border, so that's what Daryl's working on. It's gonna set the 16 inch border. Right, Daryl? That's right, 16 inch border all the way around. Wow. Victory style. How, now we have two guys that speak Spanish, so now we get to listen to Spanish all day. Right? Yeah. Oh man. You know what you're doing, Francisco? At least he's got a pouch. That's a good sign. Yeah, I told him. He said a pouch? Yes. Eric, me and you are going to go right now. We got to go mow, dude. That's sure. just a, it's just a whole other responsibility we yeah. got now. Oh, uh, Let's go. So, put, put the gravel up here off the road. I told that lady, Bob dumped a whole bunch in her grass. Half the load's in her grass, and she was mowing around and looking at me. I was like, we'll get every rock off. So just put all the, put all the rock up here somewhere. Probably in the concrete, yeah, because we'll put it right back on the road in the morning. Put all this plywood back on the fork, sweep the road, and sweep the driveway. And that's pretty much it. Why do you get to go mow? Yep. You don't even know what you're doing. Well, he's going to learn because I need help. Well, he's an upgrade from you, and that's all we're looking for. Yeah. You really need help? <laughs> My kid. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. You coming back tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Why? Yeah, just think Should about I? it. Just asking you. <laughs> I mean, you want me to? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I'll be here. All right. Same time? same time, same place. Okay. Yeah. And we'll talk again tomorrow. Okay. I want to see if you know how to finish concrete. We're going to pour some concrete Let's tomorrow. Do it. Let's do it. We will. We're going to do it. We always do it. Yes, we'll, sir. We get it done even when there's only two of us, dude. <laughs> Uh, boots for concrete, so I'm going to have to go get some then. Because I left mine at the... Other place? Used to work, yeah. You need money? No. All right. You need money? No. All right. You got money for boots? No. So you need money? Yeah. Oh, come on. You better get puddling boots. So far, I'm liking the new guy, Francisco. He seems to have a good attitude. I can tell he's a hard worker. And uh, it seems like he knows what he's doing somewhat. We're going to pour concrete tomorrow. So that'll really tell the story if he knows how to, you know, puddle, strike off, finish, all that. But so far, I like what I see. It's a good sign. It's actually a good Monday. So we're not done. It's like two something. But me and Eric have to go do some mowing. I lost my son now back to college. So uh, there's a lot more responsibility for us. Uh, we have a lot of mowing to do to try to get done during the week. I'm going to see if I can find somebody to fill in and do it for me like my son was doing. But that's not easy. All right, adios.